Scott, I don't assume you've ever had much chance to experiment with fireworks. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous stuff. Yeah. You've seen them, though, I assume. Yeah, at a circus and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, today you and I are going to investigate some of the aspects of fireworks, and we have to be very careful. I have a fire extinguisher in the back standing by, okay. made very small amounts of each material. And the first thing we're going to do is just burn some of the chemicals. Do you know what canned heat is? Uh, stuff like oil and stuff like that. Well, it's actually a material that's sort of solid alcohol that they put in the bottom of chafing dishes. Oh. And, you know, and you see it, the little flames underneath that keeps food hot. Well, I oh, have okay. some in each one of those little holes in the cupcake liner. And then I added various chemicals. So now I will light the first one. That's just, this one right here is just plain canned heat. And you'll see the kind of flame we get from that. Now we can see them better if I turn out the lights. You put on your safety okay. glasses. Good idea. Oh, it's just kind of blue. And yeah, sort of a slight of bluish effect. On the top, yeah. Okay, now I'll light the one next to it, and you'll see what effect a chemical can have. Oh, it's green. Yes, Neat. that's the that's green. That's pretty color. So if you're going to make fireworks, you put some of that chemical in there to get that color. Okay, here comes that one. Oh, it's kind of a bluish green yeah, to it. Yeah, weak bluish green. Yeah. Okay. That one's just kind of... Yellow. Yellow, uh -huh. yeah. That That's one's an more orange. Yellow. Yeah, an orange is yellow. Okay, here comes the last one. Oh, it's red, yeah, kind it's of. Yeah, it's nice and red. That's so pretty. you see the fireworks manufacturers can put the various chemicals together to get the sort of explosion they want, then they can put in these various chemicals to get the colors that they want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now let's put it out. How come that puts it out? Because it burns up all the oxygen. Yeah. Let me turn the lights back on. <laughs> it burns up all the oxygen? Yeah. Well, this just keeps the oxygen from getting there. Yeah. Okay. Well, now you get the general idea that you can put uh, various chemicals into, uh, uh, into a combination of things that have some, usually some carbon, which is what they usually burn, yeah. and then some oxidizer of some kind, and finally ignite it, and then you get the colors. Okay. I don't know if you and I have ever played with flash paper, have we? No. Well, here's the tongs. Put on your safety glasses again. I'll light the candle, and this is the kind of paper that has been treated with sulfuric acid and nitric acid so that there's no flash left behind, no, no ash left behind, oh, yeah. but definitely a flash. I'll light the candle, and you hold the paper over the, uh, the candle. Sort of, you want to get it out of the way here, and I light this? Okay. Okay. Okay, now bring the paper down slowly over the top of the candle flame. And this is what plain flash paper without any chemical whoa, in it is like. Whoa, nice yellow flame, right? Yeah, that's you Notice neat. it completely disappeared? Yeah. Okay, well now I soaked some of the chemicals that you and I just did put in that dish. I soaked the pieces of pa flash paper in it. And you should now get a different color. Here, this one is copper chlorate. Okay. Hold it over the top and see what you get. Oh, it's blue. Nice Whoa. blue color, right. You see why I'm careful about all this? Because yeah. you have lots of fire. Yeah. Finally, one of my favorites, the strontium. Strontium chloride. Try the strontium. Okay. Here it goes. Oh, it's red. Nice oh. and red, yes. That's neat. Okay, so now, you want to blow the candle out, please? Now you see how you can get various colors in the fireworks, but sometimes they have a nice big flare that just is nice and brilliant and bright. Yeah. Okay, they use a different system for that. In fact, they burn a metal. And here I have some over here. Aluminum. You wouldn't think aluminum would be much of a fire producer, would you? No. But there, but there is powdered aluminum, which I'll put in here like this. Now what we need to do is give it a supply of oxygen. And here's one of my favorite chemicals that has a supply of oxygen in it. I'll mix them up just a little bit. Now I'd like you sort of to stand back. Okay. Because I'm going to put a drop of water in there, and the drop of water will hopefully set off the chemical reaction, and you'll see what they use this combination for in fireworks. Oh! 
Oh, neat. You know the big flares that go up? Yeah. They really, you know, make a, sometimes fall down with all kinds of streamers. Yeah. Well, they very often put a combination involving aluminum powder. Now, I would not suggest that you do any of these at home, because obviously it's pretty dangerous. And I want to get all of this out of the way, because I'll show you some of the fireworks that you and I are going to set off. Good. Oh, those How are like big that? ones. Those are big. In fact, here's... Here's another one, a cone shape. And oh, I have no neat. idea what they're going to do. This one's called Cave of Pearls. So, uh, that's a neat name. That sounds like a good... Uh, Wizard, Wizard Mine. Mine. Oh, that sounds like a great one. Floral Fountain. So I expect neat. that's going to have some of that stuff in it. Anyway, we'll, we'll fire these later. But I broke part one of them so we could take a look at what's inside. And I would not suggest that you do this either. Because there's what's inside of one. When I started, it was one about like that. Oh, yeah. Then it had a plug like this at the end. And then, see the combinations? That carbon that I told you about? Yeah. Carbon is usually one of the things that's present because that combines easily with oxygen. And obviously, there's an oxidizer in there. And then some of the chemicals. And by putting it in the tube in a certain way, they can get it to fire out and flare and so forth. All right, so are you ready? Yep. Meet me at the parking lot at the school just about sundown. Okay. I have special permission from the fire department to be able to set these off, so you should see a real fireworks display. Okay. Okay, meet you then. Okay, Scott, here's the first one, big firecracker-looking thing, right? Yep. Okay, I've got my glowing punk ready, so I want you to go back and stand there by the fire extinguisher. Okay. Safely out of the way, and I'll start it, and let's see what happens. Oh, Tony totally bogus, man. Oh, that looks so cool.